Okay, thank you for downloading the Octopath Traveler demo. A few things you should know before you set out on your journey. In this demo, you can play for three hours from the start of the game. As recorded in your save file, you can choose any of the eight protagonists. Just as in the full version of the game, you'll also be able to carry over your save game data and use it in the full game. Travel beyond starting regions will be restricted. Later chapters of each protagonist's tale, as well as some side stories, will av are available only in the full game. Okay. Let's find out. So, uh, I guess uh, I guess this is just going to be uh, the start of this. So, hey everyone, uh, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Project Octopath Traveler. This might be a solo series. I might include Shell. I don't entirely know. Uh, it's got some voice acting, but I don't know if it's complete voice acting. And uh, I'm personally excited for this. I played a little bit of it uh, back during the previous demo, and I thought it was really good. And I kind of wanted to... Well, kind of want to, kind of wanted to turn it into a full series, but it took a while to come out. Let's take a look at settings for a second before we get going. Okay, so voice, music, sound effects. So let's turn down some of these a little bit because we want to be able to hear some of it. Uh, let's see, mes message speed, quick, HD rumble, remember, battle cursor, and oh, corner shadows. You can turn that off. That could be kind of nice. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And we're good to go. Cool. But yeah, so this is a this is a JRPG in the style of well, I guess the closest I can compare it to would be uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, kind of the last of the great sprite-based Square Enix games before they switched over to 3D. And admittedly, this is 3D, but I mean, look at that art style. It's pr pretty sprite-y, all the same. Anyway, so we've got eight characters to play as. I have no idea which one I want to start with, so we should probably just look at all of them. So, S Cyrus, Path Action Scrutinize, Talent Study Foe, your name is Cyrus and you are a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dem, and though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There's so much more I would learn. One day you realize that an inevitable tome, an invaluable tome, sorry, has vanished from the Royal Library. Piking, uh, piking? Your insatiable peaking. Your ins Insatiable curiosity. Do you want to just grab a microphone and join the series? Grab a microphone. I'll need you to voice act random townspeople and possibly the protagonists. Okay, and while she gets set up, oh, I should probably unplug my headphones so she can plug hers in. Um. There we go. Okay. I've only ever heard it as you peaked, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't I've know. been wrong about pronunciations before. Okay, I think. Uh, can you speak into the mic? Hello? Is it turned correctly? Yeah? Yes. Okay. I was just afraid I'm a little loud. Anyway, so, uh, next one is Ophelia. Your name is Ophelia and you are a cleric. You hail from the snow sept Frostlands, where you dutifully serve the Order of the Flame under your adoptive father, the Arch Archbishop. As your adoptive sister and best friend prepares to embark on a perilous pilgrimage, you stand ever at her side. But unbeknownst to the both of you, events are about to take a tragic turn. Oh no, she's gonna die. That's what I bet. Uh, sister maybe. The sister. Not Ophelia. That'd be kind of hilarious if one of the eight <laughs> protagonists just dies before it joins the party. Your name is Hainit? I think it's Haanit. Haanit? Okay. Haanit? One of the last descendants of an ancient clan that calls... Haanit? the deep forest home uh calls the deep forest home your prowess with the bow is out unmatched your master left home one year ago summoned to hunt a dread beast and you protected the village while awaiting his return then one day the return of an old friend gives you cause for concern and you strike out on a journey of your own oh right abilities so path action provoke talents capture that might be for path me. action guide talent sam summon Uh, let's see. Oh, of course. I could tell he was a rogue just yep. from the apple. Your name is Therion, and you are a thief. While your past is a guarded secret, your exploits are known far and wide. Mere whispers of your extravagant heist strike fear into the hearts of the wealthy. Drifting into the Cliftlands one day, you hear a rumor of great riches to be had. You set your sights on a mansion said to be impregnable, only to find what you never expected. Elfin. Your name is Elfin. You're an apothecary. You treat the wounded and sick in a small village amid 
the babbling brooks of the Riverlands. Stricken ill as a child, you were saved by a traveler who asked for nothing in return, inspiring you to follow in his footsteps. Though hesitant to leave the only home you've known, your best friend convinces you to follow your dream wherever it may lead you. Your name is Primrose, and you are a dancer. You ply your trade in the pleasure district of the Sunshade, a town forever shrouded in darkness. In truth, you are a highborn daughter of once proud house Azelheart, an identity you conceal from all. Three men bearing the mark of the crow. They took my father from me, but you will have your revenge. Am I going to read anything? Uh, also, okay, that, that should have been my line. Fine. Oh well. No, 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 no. Sorry. Keep going. Uh, so she's got a lure and summon. Uh, I mean, you want to just read about Ulbrick? I, I played as Ulbrick and Primrose. Uh, I, I recall you playing as demo. them. Yep. Why don't you continue? Your name is Ulbrick, and you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today you serve as master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you, night after restless night. Then one day, you overhear a name from your past, giving you new purpose. And lastly, this one's yours. No, I suppose. Okay, so... Merchant Tressa. Half action purchase. Talent, eye for money. Your name is Tressa, and you are a merchant. You stock shelves at your parents' shop on your sleepy seaside... Well, in your sleepy seaside hometown. You often find yourself gazing at the sea, longing for something more. What lies beyond the horizon? You thought you'd never know the answer. Then, one day, an unfamiliar vessel weighs anchor at the docks, changing your life forever. Okay, so she's got Purchase Eye for Money. He's got Challenge and Bolster Defense. Allure and Summon. Allure lets her recruit spare people, which is hilarious. Well, oh, okay, so you only have three hours in this demo, correct? Yes. So, so I'm not going to play as Primrose or Ulbrich. I'm just looking at the path actions again. So, Inquire, Concoct, Steal, Pick Lock, Provoke, Capture, Guide and Summon, and Scrutinize and Study Foe. Okay, so do you want to be the young girl that has never left her island home? Do you want to be the young scholar who uncovers some kind of ancient artifact? I was uh, actually going to say the we, could, guy we that... could open it up to democracy. Hmm? Do we want to open up open this up to democracy? Let's do democracy. Well, I'm not too intrigued with the apothecary story. It just seems like what? He's asked to yeah. leave-ish? I, I was actually. I, I think the the interesting artifact, the um, the woman whose sister is probably going to meet a terrible fate, uh, and maybe the rogue, maybe the actually what the beastmaster girl doesn't she have a specific beast that she's supposed to? Yeah, find? she's got like a cat with her, and there is there is a uh, dread beast. Your master left home one year. One minute, can you read that one again? I wasn't here present for that. Okay. One of the last descendants of an ancient clan calls his forest, uh, deep forest home. Your prowess with the bow is unmatched. Your master left home a year ago, summoned a haunted dread beast, and uh, protected the village. So the old friend gives you cause for concern. Yeah. So, chat seems to unilaterally be asking for Therian. <laughs> so shall we give them what they want? So, they want a heist. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Let's let's go with Therian. I, I was kind of between the heist, the ancient artifact, and the girl with the sister that was going to probably die. Well, let's give Therian a go. I think we can switch between characters, though I'm not entirely sure how it how how it works. We'll find out. Okay. Like a thief in the night. Also, I don't hear it. Uh, it's because you got to plug your headphones in. Here. No. No. Okay. Give me that purple cord. The usual. Is this voice acted? Uh, he just said the usual, so I assume so. Okay. So this is just a demo, sort of. This is like the three hours. It's like um, it's so like a you promo to play thing. Three hours, but you can't go beyond the starting area. So it's possible you might be able to do a couple starts. Yeah. Um. But then, do you only choose one to continue with? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think I think you play as all of kind of their big, their intro missions, and then then you kind of like come together. 
Anyway, I'm actually going to quickly uh, close software. Because we've been sitting on that save for file for a little while. And effectively what this does is... Oh, uh, it's going to start the timer. Yeah, exactly. The timer has already started. So if I reset now that we've picked a character and discussed things and set up your, your headphones and whatnot... Now we can uh, now we can dive in and actually not have to worry about the time limit. So if any of you guys have a switch and you want to pick this up, uh, you'll be able to play through the first three hours of the game as far as you want to go. Well, no, uh, you know, no real limits apart from like can't go beyond the beginner areas, um, but that's not too punishing. I mean, for three hours, and it'll be out in a week. So anyway, let's zip over to Therian and give this a go. Like a thief in the night. If I remember right, the audio balance is kind of wacky, so we might have to mess with I just it. Heard him say, a thief in the night. Yeah, he's very quiet, and I might have to turn the music down to like a whisper. The usual. As you like it. I heard that thief's at it again. Really? What's he done this time? Lifted everything off a merchant, leaving the goldsmithy. Guess he didn't get his bill at that fancy manor the other day. Still can't believe he made it past all those gods. I'm sure the more the better for him. They were more like decorations than actual guards. Ain't no point swooning over someone else's work. Someday we'll make it as big as that thief, and then we'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> yeah, you said it, partner. Partners in crime, huh? It was ten years ago. Our paths crossed in a particularly dingy go. I remember that meeting well. After all, it had been quite the influence on... Actually, this is probably something yeah. you'd want to do. Yeah. My career. Yeah. I didn't know it was... I just thought it was the narrator. Nope. No, uh, this is a flashback for each character, so quite the influence on my career. <laughs> oi! Uh, oi, get in. I. This is gonna be- and? Oh, are they doing the thing where they say the first word of the sentence and then the yep. rest of it is- Yep. They had this so, in the previous one, too. Really? Uh, so it's just gonna be like, ooh. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, yes. and then we'll fill in for the no. rest of the voice acting. Not even a please? Ah. You won't last long in here with that foul mouth, whelp. <laughs> no? You seem to be doing just fine. Impudent, impudent brat. You'll learn your manners the hard way, just like the rest. Huh. Uh. Hi. I see you've got the same warm welcome I did. And who are you? <laughs> Making him sound like a really little boy. Well, he's a little boy. He still had the same voice, though. But that's just because they're lazy with the voice acting. Oh. Yeah. A no good tea leaf who got caught in the act, just like yourself. Oh, really? Just like me, huh? You look a lot worse. <sighs> Heh. Well, get used to seeing this ugly boat, because I ain't getting prettier any time soon. These guards think they can beat the attitude out of us. And they don't go easy on no one here. Least of all... Teapot, teapots like us. Sounds about right. 
So, ready to be a good little boy and play nice with the guards. <laughs> Are you? No. Nope. Then I don't plan on staying here till they change me mind. See, I got me a pin here to unlock the door. Hey. Hey. What do you think you're... Ugh. A little busy right now. Here. Try using this instead. <clears throat> ah. The key. Where'd you get this? <laughs> Snatched it up from the guard once he was all riled up. <laughs> Look at the cobblers on this one. Now, let's get out of here. Name's Darius, mate. Therion. Eh, he might not what? be that young. I don't know. Well, Therion, looks like you and I are officially partners in crime. He seemed to pronounce it Therion. Therion. Sorry. Therion. Therion. Ah, uh, sweet memories. Fill it up. There you go. Beg pardon. Would you happen to be after them, Ravis's treasure? If you are, I suggest you think again. Heard another would-be fortune hunter was tossed in the dungeons yesterday. So what's the count now? A score? Maybe more? But House Ravis ain't known to be kind to those who covet their wealth. Still, poor thieves can't help but flock to that manor like moths to a flame. Suppose it's all those rumors of their riches that keep them coming. Some say it's enough to buy up the whole town and then some. Just one town? What about the neighbors? Can't say for sure. No one's ever seen the treasure. Even that master thief they keep talking about would have more than his hands full. A perfect tale for the tavern. Look, when you've been in the business long enough, you can tell things at a glance. You're a smart and skilled young man. Probably have a long career ahead of you. That's why I'll say it once more. Stay away from that manor. Thanks for the advice. Next time, I'll have a tale of my own to tell. They say Ravis's manor up on top of the mountain. Uh, Ravis's manor's up on top of the mountain, where only the richest of the rich live. Okay, use the radar on the bottom right to check the area, find your heading. So continue the story, side story, starting point, save point, hidden item, and exit to neighboring areas. Press R to turn it on and off. Cool. Huh. Oh. Is this a girl or a it, kid or Maybe, what? I don't know. Just... What? You want something from me? Hmm, maybe it was Let's just see. a kid. People like, seem to have an accent. Folk in the middle level are a reasonable lot. At least they don't look down their noses at us like those nudie nobles. Doesn't mean they all think highly of each other, though. Okay, so let's just... Let's just get going. Man, I'm still hungry. What is it, youngin? The cliff flat side stairs will take you down to the commoner's district. It can get rough down there, so watch yourself. <laughs> Here in Balderfell, the poor types live below. The wealthy live up top. Yes? Well, I guess we're somewhere in the middle. Okay. Save point. I'm probably just going to rush the story to some degree. The one thing I've noticed about this game is it's awfully brown. It is very brown, and it will continue to be awfully brown. 
actually okay. the bloom too. Yeah. Or I wouldn't necessarily call it bloom. Would you call it bloom gamma? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely bloom. Uh, uh, and I am in full agreement on that one. It is, it is very bloomy. It's very fuzzy. It's got some weird visual effects. Ah, guard dogs. What do we have here? If I didn't know better, I'd say they were overcompensating for something. All right. Change posts. Oi. You there. Yes. Yes, sir. Listen Stop up. dragging your feet. Walk with purpose. Yes, sir. <sighs> we're getting paid a fortune for this job. Do it with pride. Well, I'll be damned. It's like an army. Just what kind of place is this? Arr. Uh. Arr. Arr. Hmm. Those guard dogs look vicious. And that's not all. The walls are lined with wire. One false move and it'll send an alarm, no doubt. Yep, trying to scale the walls would be more trouble than it's worth. Huh? Ah, what's this now? Listen. What part of no visitor is allowed? Do you not understand? Exactly. The Ravises have more important matters to attend than entertaining riffraff like yourself. <sighs> I won't take long, I swear. I'm merely a merchant looking to... A merchant, you say. Prove it. Uh, Proof what? I came to show the lady of the house some of the finest fabrics of the realm. Uh, and we're supposed to take you at your word. <laughs> if you can't show us proof, you can show yourself out. Uh, but I... Fine, I'll leave. I swear, the nerve of these hoity-toity types. Oh -ho. Never thought the front door would be the easiest way in. Time to get my hands on some proof. <laughs> so he's just going to get some things to sell, quote-unquote? Yep. Okay, we obtained an iron helm. Oh, might as well chuck that on, assuming we can. Okay, that's gonna get messy fast. Oh, well there's the merchant. What do we have here? Well, if it isn't our merchant friend. No. You're a yawning machine. Yeah, you're yawning every other sentence. I I don't know. Those bloody revises. Don't they know some of us actually have to work for a living? Oh yes. And then turned her way at the gate. Join the club. <sighs> you too, but why? Well, they're doing it to everyone. Rumor has it they're guarding some great treasure inside. But I'm not after their treasure. I just wanted to show the lady of the house my wares. They told me I needed proof. As if this sack of silk dresses isn't proof enough. Right. Indeed. You need a letter of introduction to get inside. Uh, a letter of what? The truth is... House Ravis only does business with what most assume merchants and traders. So how can I get one of these letters? It's not easy, that's for sure. 
First, you'll have to make a name for yourself here in town. Once you've proven yourself a reliable trading partner, then and only then will the Revises write you a letter. That said, you could count the number of people who've earned one on one hand. That sounds like an awful lot of work. You sure there's no other way? <laughs> I can think of at least one. I'll do what thieves do best. Lifting it from the pocket of someone who's done the work for me. So he's just gonna nab the letter from someone else. Okay, utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Path action is Y. Wait, you're gonna pickpocket these poor people? Apparently I can only pickpocket certain people. Stole earrings. Eh. I trust you won't be missing this. Okay, fire soul stone, ice soul stone, wind, shadow. Ooh, looks like you have 100%. Wow, they're all mine. Holy crap. Okay, the, sure. Are the stones for magic? Yeah, they're like consumable items. Oh, the other thieves. Hmm. Huh. Just out of curiosity, how long do you plan on following me? Huh? So you noticed. <laughs> For thieves, you aren't very discreet. <laughs> You're keener than most, friend. <laughs> As are we. We can tell you've come for the Ravis fortune. <laughs> if it's the army surrounding the manor, is any ind if the army surrounding the manor is any indication, it's more than worth the trouble. Hmm. Have you actually seen the treasure? Oi, oi. What's up, Shell? You could have chosen a female character so I could talk. I'm sorry. You want to just voice act some of these random no, scallywags? No. You can be all the scallywags you want. We don't need to see it. Just look at what they've got guarding it. <laughs> Guards, dogs, traps, you name it. They got it. And? And you came all the way here to warn me. How thoughtful. I suppose so. Look, we have got a proposal for you. No thanks. And I've got an answer. No. Listen. Just hear us out, mate. We can help each other. Yeah. My partner here has been inside. He's in the traps they've got up close. Hells, he walked straight into one of them and set off the alarm. Shut up! You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Anyway, I got out just fine and we're here now. So, what do you say? It won't be easy to carry all the treasure on your own. We're offering you a helping hand. Nope. I've already got two hands. That's enough for me. Damn. So you think you're too good for us, is that it? <laughs> I'm a thief, not a nanny. Say again? You're an ungrateful bastard, that's what you are. Are we done here? Listen, I don't have time to entertain you clowns. I have places to be. Uh. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Bye now. Get out of my sight. Shikes. Are you with me, mate? Speak to me. Hmm. Mate. Oi. Guards or thieves. You won't get away. <laughs> They're on to us. Partner. Darius, this way. Got it. Welcome to Shell doesn't get to do anything, the game. Damn, we lost him. Find you can be that guard. You want to just be the guards for this? You can be what? the guards for this. Put on your most grizzled voice you possibly can. They can't have gone far. Let's check the back alley. This just sounds weird, though.
Eh. Hmm. They're gone. We should be safer now. Mm -hmm. That went better than I expected. <laughs> I wish they could have seen the looks on their faces. <laughs> they deserved it for treating us like teapots. We might be small, but we're smarter than they'll ever be. <laughs> you can say that again. We'll put our loaves together. No one can stop us. Take a butcher's at all the loot we get. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite the haul. <laughs> Show a little more enthusiasm, mate. This is all ours now. Right. We knew what we wanted, and we took it with our own hands. Partner. That's the spirit. All the world's treasures are ours for the taken. Partner. If you say so, partner. That's wrong. I do. Mark my words, we're going to be the best, greatest tea leaves the world's ever seen. Is that nickname a subtle way to say thieves? Teapot? Tea, tea leaves? leaves. Tea yeah, possibly. Leaves. Say it. Tea leaves, tea leaves, tea leaves, tea leaves. Nah, it doesn't really make it you say thieves, though. Mm -hmm. But it sounds similar. Darius. But there's no time for nostalgia. I need to get myself one of those letters. Okay, so we're gonna go save very quickly. Actually, while I rob the town, could you possibly turn off the fan overhead? Okay. Because I'm going to have to rob the town. And it's a little easier if you do that, probably. Steal. What can we steal? Healing grape. Wow. Okay, maybe going with this character is the right idea. Energizing pomegranate. Time to just rob the whole town blind. Okay, so you can only rob people that you can speak with. I wonder what you can, uh... I wonder what you can do to, uh... Increase your chances. What's the provisioner have? So, healing grapes, plums, injurious seeds, soothing seeds. Oh, component of small volumes. So that's, that's for, uh, cooking and whatnot. Okay. What else do we rob? Oh. Well, no one that we rob, but there's a, uh... There's a treasure chest over here to grab. At the very least. And an old man. And a stinging dagger. Perfect. It being mute makes you unrobbable. <laughs> you know. Hello. The staircase leads to Ravis Matter. The truth is... Wait. Oh, goddamn. That voice actor is, um... Wait, I found him already. Yeah, I think I found out Matt Mercer already. Hello. The truth is. No, that sounds like Matt Mercer. Okay. Hello. The truth is. The truth is... It really does sound like him. It's It's got his, like, um... Male Norn... Uh... Tinge to it. Okay, we picked the right character, by the way. To start with. Like... I I know you wanted to, uh... I know... I know you wanted to play a female character, but this character is going to... Every character that we pick up after the, this point is just going to be loaded for items. I understand. I just really wish there was a karma system so that you would feel some hurt for being a meanie. Oh, no. Well, no, there is sort of a karma system. So, um, when I played this with, uh, what's this guy say? A good day to you. Okay. Uh, so there's no karma system for this. You stole from the pauper? Come on! He had a rebel's axe. Spear of Justice? What? What do these people have? 
Well, clearly Poppers in the Undercity really only have weapons on hand because that's all that they have But a Spear have to of themselves. Justice? It's like a street urchin carrying around like a super weapon. When you've been in the business as long as I have, the Ravises will be begging you for a visit. <laughs> it's all about experience. <laughs> oh gosh, isn't this so pertinent? Time to get to work. What do you mean? You know, the whole youngins trying to make it in the business, but oh, yeah. they need to have ten years under your belt before you get a, you know, a, an entry-level position. Yep. <laughs> Poor kid. Poor kid. Lucky for me, your experience hasn't taught you where to, when to keep your mouth shut. Okay, so I've already stole that stole that man's possessions. Letter bestowed only on the privileged few who have earned the trust of House Ravis. Trust you won't be missing this. Now, then. pleasure doing business with you. Now to pay a visit to Ravis Manor. Yeah, but does he have the goods? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, I'm fairly well equipped. So we do have a better dagger. A better shield. How much do you want to bet the only female character I can actually voice for is like the lady? Uh, well, the female characters will definitely help out. Sure. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about the lady in the manor. Oh. She seems to be the only character of import. Very possibly. At least in this particular Octopath storyline. I don't want to sell anything. But yeah, we straight up have like a Spear of Justice and some other things, which... Oh! The Spear of Justice is like a usable item, I think. Hmm. Maybe it's a one-use smiting spell or something? Oof. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that on for a bit. I don't necessarily know. But yeah, I, th I think it might be a use item or like some other thing, because Spear of Justice um, was not on the e uh, equipment list. Are like, these people just living on a mesa? Uh. Because it just looks like a tiered yeah, a mesa. Cliff, yeah, a cliff. At the very least. I'm still not fully a fan of their lighting system. I think it would have been nicer if this game was, like, nice and colorful, but whatever. I mean, this is sort of close to sunset. Oh no, the whole game looks like this. Ew. Two guards at the gates. If I can fool them, I'm in. I'm to sell the merchant. Uh. Good day, sirs. I've come to call on the Ravises. Would you kindly announce my arrival? Hoy, I am not seeing anyone today. Be gone with you at once. Be gone, I say! Huh. Yeah, something tells me this one's bark is worse than its bite. My sincerest apologies. Allow me to introduce you myself. You see, I am a merchant of some repute. <laughs> a merchant and of, of repute, you say. Don't make me laugh. You ought not to judge a man by his robes. As a matter of fact, I was personally summoned by the lady of the house. And I doubt she would react kindly upon hearing I was turned away. What? Summoned you? You think we're going to believe that cod swallop? <laughs> if we had a leaf for every rotten thief who gave us that story, we'd be rich as ravises. But since we aren't, we're here protecting their fortune from would-be swindlers like you. Heh, <laughs> thought you could outsmart us, didn't you? Next time you're summoned, remember to bring your letter. 
Oh, Would you be referring to this letter, per perchance? What? Huh. How'd you get that? It must be fake. Desperate times. Now for the finishing blow. Are you still aren't convinced? I fear there's not much else I can do. I'll take my leave, but I will give Lady Ravers a full report on what happened here today. I wonder how she will see f fit to deal with this affront to my good name. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, wait, sir. We're only just doing our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you may pass. You have my Why? Gratitude. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, then. now the real fun begins. I'll just sneak in through that window over there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can mess with the lighting settings. Oh! Saving your progress. You'll never know when danger might strike, so be sure to save often. Yep, that's easy enough. I wanna check the miscellaneous settings. Message speeds. I'll turn down the music a little bit more, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, corner shadows. What, what does that are look those? like? I don't know. Corner shadows? No, I wasn't shirking my duty. I was right here at my post. Yoink. Give me your candy. Give me your tree nut, munchy nuts! <laughs> munchy nuts! Eating on the job. And broadsword. It can't go that way. They, they're probably going to force you to sneak through the window. Probably, yes. Oh, you don't want to go outside? Yes, I you do. just gained entry. It's fine. We're fine. We're all fine. Everything is fine. Everything mm. is fine. Mm. Everything's all perfectly fine. Ah, everyone here must be adult. adult. Now you're not going to be picking off the 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 dogs, are you? They're going to give you away. They're going to know you're a thief. I should probably go save just in case. You never know. I wonder how character switching works. It'd be kind of cool if we like could snowball the characters so they get easier. Listen up. Okay, train these guards. Third person limb from limb. Give me that bone. Give me that energizing pomegranate. <laughs> now, was there something over there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, and Grr. yeah. Uh, let's see, inventory equipment. So we want to specifically give him the Wakeful Stone. I don't know if it's actually useful, uh, but I'm like crossing my fingers that it's one of those where it's like one of the first enemies we run into really can like put us to sleep. Maybe? I always thought I that know. it was a you complete the story arc for one character and it somehow merges with another and then you get all of your characters Because that's kind of what you could do in, um, in the previous demo that I played. Oh, there was a safe thing over there. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna grab this first. Oh, they have quite the library. What? I'll make this quick. Apparently okay. you don't sneak? Guess not. Exploit your foe's weaknesses to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Attack your foe's weak point. To lower their shield points, reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. Therion can utilize swords, daggers, and fire abilities in battle. Select attack and choose a weapon you want to use with the directional buttons. Go to thief skills and choose wildfire to see it in action. Okay. Out of my way. So, we have Dagger, Sword, Thief Skills, Wildfire. Let's start with Wildfire. Don't play with fire. He is not vulnerable to fire, though. Uh, do you know what's hilarious? Hmm? Out of my way. The guard is fully fleshed out and almost at normal human proportions, and your characters remain a chibi. Yeah. That's how these games work. Okay. So, boost mode. Enter boost mode to augment your powers. Break your foes drastically uh, to drastically reduce their defense. Press the R button to enter boost mode, and the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. You gain one boost point per turn. You can spend up to three boost points to boost your character 
three level uh, three levels of power. If you use boost mode, you'll not gain any BP the following turn. Ah, super safe. Stabbing. So you can also use boost mode to like stun lock enemies and stuff. Um, and like take off their armor and whatnot. But not in this case. You also get a break bonus. I think there's also job points. Like I think you can switch classes in this oh, game. Oh, this gonna be like Pokemon where enemies aren't necessarily in a particular spot. They're just yeah. spawned. Yeah. Ran random encounters. Uh, Which I'm personally not like a huge fan of. I would like encounters. it if you could sneak through an environment and evade enemies if you really wanted to. Yep. Now this might actually be one of those where you can like kind of. Come on, I've got better things to do. You you can kind of plan of for way. it. Uh, let's see. What are we? Doing? Okay, that's how we know how many boost points I have. Out of my way. Okay. Well, I suppose you do have attack skills, defend, and fleeing. Let's try sword. Okay, sword does a little bit more damage. And he's also vulnerable to sword. All right. Where's his uh, HP bar? Uh, he doesn't have one? Uh, no, he had one. It was, it was, we could kind of see it. He leveled it. up. Yeah. 